Hello guys. No, I'm not sick of doing the fridge transition. I love it. We're gonna finally dig into some mail time. Actually our first mail time. First mail time ever. Wanna show them what we have and who it's from? We have this package from Dan from Home in the Sticks. Home in the Sticks. So let us grab a beer. We're gonna head downstairs, open this bad boy up, and uh, play some darts. Come on, you're gonna miss all the fun. We're tasting as well. Okay, so we have never filled a filmed a mail time before. We've received two things ever due to social media. One time we won a giveaway on Instagram, and then the second time was when we did our beer trade with no hype beer reviews. Thank you, Kyle. Again, that was we're actually gonna be doing two beers from him today. And Dan from Home of the Sticks is the man, and he decided he wanted to send us something special in the mail. I have no idea. Okay, well you can open it. But I'm very excited. You wanna tell everybody what you think about Dan? Give him a little shout out. Well, I, I think um, Dan is hilarious. Dan is, uh, he's got a great channel, great personality. He's one of those very just honest, down to earth, yeah. fantastic channel. Um, I shout him out every chance I get actually. And yeah. when this channel comes on, I actually stop pretty much what I'm doing. To watch it. If I get a notification, because I'm part of the notification squad. <laughs> Okay. a little bit snobby. Like, I may get his notification while I'm at work. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie. I have, like, went to the bathroom, turned on his video, and, and listened to it in the bathroom. Well, I don't think he wants to know, but you watch him while well, you're going to the Well, only because I, you know, can't get away or whatever. But um, Okay, open the package. I, I, it's getting weird now. Oh. You just stepped on bubble wrap. <laughs> it's from No Hype. Normally, I would have a knife on me, but I just got out of the shower. And who really does that? Working on it. Okay, so there's one. Well, he's obviously a very good packer because he packed a bag in a bag. There's two. Okay, what do we got here? Okay. It's really cool. Home in the Sticks with a YouTube playbook. What's the back say? And the back says... Simple and self-sufficient Philadelphia. Mississippi. So, thank you very much, Dan. Actually, you know what? I think we need to change our outfits. Hold on one second. All right. Wow, you look fantastic. Well. Repping some Home in the Sticks outfits. I'm going to rep this Home in the Sticks outfit, you know, for a good long time. It's a great t-shirt. <laughs> it is. Much, is, it, is it soft? So, thank you very much, brother. Please check out Home in the Sticks. If you haven't already, check out Home in the Sticks. He's an awesome guy. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, it helps him out. Yep. And tell him that you saw us wearing his t-shirts and send him some love. Leave him a comment. Tell him that BBT has sent you. I'm going to put mine on right now. Hold on. You look fabulous. It's a good pajama shirt for me. It's a great shirt. All right. So let me tell everybody what beers we are trying today. Um, today is just all about collaboration. So we've already talked to you about how much we love Dan from Home in the Six. Now I'm going to talk to you about how much we love Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews. So we have two beers here. We'll be trying both of them tonight. I have these guys. We have the Vleit? Vleit? Vleit. Vleit. Vleit? Vleit? No idea, but it's Threes Brewing. It's a Pilsner, 16 ounce can. It is from Brooklyn, New York. And I will look up specs in a second. And then we're trying, this one I'm really pumped about because the can itself really in, like impresses me. The side of the highway, it has like a little thing pointing to Indian Ladder Farm in Brooklyn. Um, it's a traffic jam. And then there's this big tractor picking up hops. So hops and trees and stuff are going into his tractor. And it's KCBC, it's a collaboration, it's Kings County Brewers Collective, brewed with ILF and CNB. It's also a Pilsner. This one is 5.2%, and the artwork is by Earl Holloway. So nice job on that, Earl. 100% New York beer. We don't drink a lot of Pilsners, to no. be honest. Um, so I'm actually really pumped that he sent us some Pilsners. It's very, very, very light, very active. It's very cloudy. Lots of carbonation on that one. And it's literally perfectly at the top. Oh, oh. That one was a little more active. And that's why it's a wet bar. Well, I'm glad that we have a sink. Yeah, that one um, immediately erupted when I opened it. So let me pull these up. I don't have my phone. Pause this. Okay, so the first one that we are going to be trying, I only poured about two-thirds of the beer because you guys saw how active that was. Um, this is light. It is very light in the glass. 
definitely has that lager, pilsner type look to it. It's like a very light, like hay type of a color, I would say. There's some orange near the top, but okay. <laughs> 5.2% ABV. There has been 3,300 ratings, giving it a 3.6 out of 5. One rating from someone we know. I assume that is Kyle. I will be shocked if it is not. It's Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Want to know what he said? It's a Pilsner. Well. It's a Pilsner. He had it on September 16th of 2017. Um, he didn't give it a rating. He just said it is a Pilsner. That doesn't mean a bad thing. It just means it's simple and it's exactly what you thought you were going to get when you try it. I don't know if he has a video of his review. If he does, I will link it. It smells like a domestic to me. I'm getting like... It's a Pilsner. It's a Pilsner, but <laughs> but I'm getting like Bud Light Platinum. It's a Pilsner. I don't think that, I've though. ever had a craft Pilsner. I'm interested to be out of the box a little bit and try something that I would not buy myself, as well as something that I have no access to. Thank you again, Kyle, for sending them to us. If we say anything about them that is not in favor, it's not a lack of appreciation for getting them. It's just our authentic opinion of the beer. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. If I have a stink face, it's not you, Kyle. It's the beer. That's good. It's very like bready, like wheat, uh, very light. It actually has a really mm. strange mouthfeel, almost oily. It smells like a Miller Genuine Draft or like a Budweiser. Okay, I'm on my iPhone right now because my camera memory card is full. Okay, go ahead and give it a taste. I will say this though, and this is what I was trying to say before my card died. It doesn't taste like a domestic, but it smells like a domestic and it looks like a domestic, but it has a little bit of a zip it to it. Tastes like a strong. Domestic. I don't get sweet. I get meatier. I get sweet. Bread. Bread, like you said. Bread for sure. Um, it's good, though. It's really good. It's got substance. You know, it does. Which you don't get a lot from American Pilsners. It's refreshing, though. It's like, it is, like, refreshing. That's good. Yeah. So the next one we're doing is this guy here. This one is also, well, this is actually 5.2%. And then go ahead and you can try it off first. All right. 5.2? Yep. Ooh. I would pull on tap, guys, different. but I'm on my phone. Wow. That one I did smell already because it just like looked so perfect in a glass. Piney. I smell like pine, which makes sense because the label shows that. Dirty pine. <laughs> okay. Like, and almost like a... I don't think I'm going to like this one. No? It smells off to me. The head is kind of strange. You can tell it has something going on because... It's just odd. There's actually like a little tiny like marshmallow yeah. of head left in there. And there's also some floaties. The taste is good. The taste fools you. It's like, oops, I tripped, fell, and dropped some of my IPA into your Pilsner. <laughs> okay, so it's hoppy. A little bit. And it shows a tractor devouring trees and hops. So I'm gonna assume it's gonna be piney and hoppy. So, which is kind of what Dana said. So um, that is something to pay attention to. When you're picking out a beer, don't feel silly if you're gravitating towards the cool labels because we all do it. Light, um, sweet kind of smell to it. I didn't get a light sweet smell I get at all. sweet. That's weird. My hair is ruining Dan's hashtag. Sorry, Dan. I should wear a bun when I have this. She's ruining your hashtag. Let me, listen, I, need, I can't ruin Dan's hashtag. Hair in a bun. For Dan. A show enough bun. Show enough bun. Okay. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you're drinking this one, I'm having that one. It almost has no flavor until the very back of your palate, like the back of my tongue gets the flavor. It's weird. You know how when you taste something, the minute it hits your tongue, you taste it. Usually it's the front part of your taste buds. This beer almost glides over until the back of my mouth, and then I taste it, and it's bitter. It's not bad, I just don't know what to say about it. Okay, so I did look up Untapped, and um, it doesn't look like Kyle actually rated this beer in Untapped. It was mixed, right? Mixed reviews. It was like... <laughs> One person actually said, yuck. Yeah. Um, and then somebody else said, bring on the beer bread. Yeah, which, which I think was it, cool. Yeah, it would be good in beer it bread. It would be good in beer bread. Because it has a bready, yeasty type of flavor, and yep. it's enough sweetness to actually emulsify properly and rise in a bread, so it would be good in beer bread or beer cheese. Ooh. It does have a salty finish after kind of having a few sips while I checked untapped, um, but overall a good beer. A big thank you to Dan from Home in the Sticks for these wonderful t-shirts and Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews. Links down below. Please go check out and subscribe to both of these wonderful channels. Cheers. I just found a weird little note. I don't know if you can actually zoom into it.
Yep. You guys can read that. I'm not going to say it, but that's kind of funny.